Now let's learn a little bit more about the negative in Maltese. It's a very, very difficult formulae that you have to use and it will take you some time to study. It's this one. Wait, that's not difficult at all. Indeed, the negative is not at all difficult. There's exceptions, as with everything in Maltese, but it's very easy. It's ma, your verb, your conjugated verb, and then an, an sh at the end of the verb. So the ma is not connected to the verb, and the, verb, the, sh, the sh is attached to the verb. For example, mandazemsh, I don't work. I hope you do work. Now, just two side notes on that. Actually, three. If you have a negative form like never, nothing, at is a never, then you don't use the sh at the end of the verb. So if you say, I never work, and I hope you don't, well, anyway, it's ma na dem at. You see, there's no x, there is no sh at the end. And uh, in the imperative, if you want to say don't work, it's the second person of the single and the second person of the plural. So tahdemsh, without the ma, and tahdmush, again without the ma. So there's only two exceptions I will still share with you. And the first one is to have. The conjugation goes as follows. Mandish, mandeksh, mandush, mandish, mandnish, mandkomsh, mandomsh. So, there's a little exception there that you see. Uh, this e, the long e, and uh, she doesn't have, and we don't have. And the m, that's as well important to know. It's m apostrophe in front of a verb that starts with a vowel sound. So there's an ein there, but it's, as you know, it's not pronounced, pronounced, so uh, it's a vowel sound. Now the second exception is to be. It goes as follows. Minish, mentish, mush, mish, mahnish, mintomsh, mumish. And as you know, mush is a very, very often used form of the verb. So that's it. Let's see how you take the quiz for this section.